Let us pray. Timeless One, you renew your promises in every generation. Deepen our awareness of the communion of saints who have gone before us, the saints in our own time, and the saints who ca will carry on your message of grace after us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the ninth chapter. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them any more, but only Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Last week I started a, or returned to, a practice that I have when I'm at the church, at Mount Zion Church in particular, where I walk through the cemetery. And as I walk through, I walk through and see some of the tombstones of the people um, that have passed in the church over the years. And as I walk around in these clouds of witnesses, I always feel that God's grace is there in the cemetery. And that in many ways, it's a calming feeling. I know that some people are a little uncomfortable at cemeteries. But for me, when I'm sit standing around these cloud of witnesses, I'm being reminded of the wonderful things that many of them have done over the years. And I'm reminded of the many things that they have done. And in many ways, I contemplate and miss them. In those memories, I'm reminded of some of the things that they have taught me and reminded me of God's saving grace. During this time in Lent, may we have those moments 
of reflection, meditation, and clarity, remembering all the people who have gone before us. And I think all of them would want us to not just revel, but respond. The disciples were amazed by Jesus being with Elijah and Moses, but they went down the mountain and continued down the road in the proclamation of the gospel. May we have that moment of reminding us of the wonderful things our loved ones have taught us. And may we, at this time, think of ways to do the things that they have taught us. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. To your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Creator who fashions us together with all things, the Christ who leads us into a new beloved community, the Spirit who holds us in the communion of saints, one God, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace, join together in Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.